A foreign invader is prowling the streets of a North Lakeland neighborhood. He was first spotted about a week ago. It's a two and a half foot tegu lizard that can be aggressive and bite under the right circumstances. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is live in the neighborhood where the tegu lizard seems to have taken up residence. Ken, what else can you tell us about this creature? <laughs> Well, I can tell you he's an unwanted resident here. I want to put this in perspective for you guys. First of all, it is not a little chameleon-like thing. You know, small, you see them on your pool screen or on your home or something like that. We are not talking about that. We are talking about a real whopper. As you said, two and a half feet. That's why neighbors here want this thing gone as quickly as possible. Dustin Hooper, of all creatures animal control, is a man with a plan. Yeah, what we're going to do, I'm going to put a piece of chicken in that trap. As bait that hopefully this guy, a two and a half foot tegu, will fall for. If provoked, tegus can be downright ornery, even dangerous. The carnivore it eats meat. It will bite somebody. Uh, and, and the bacteria that these lizards have is similar to a Komodo dragon. Um, it, it, just, it can make you sick. Karen Hazlitt's dog, Delilah, may have already had a run-in with it. Knowing Delilah, if the lizard stuck his head through the fence, she was going to bite at it. So I'm thinking he might have just got a tip of her mouth. Delilah had a quick reaction to something. Her lip and eyes started swelling, and she needed antibiotics. Tegus are not native to Florida, but there are growing populations of them in the wild now. A few years ago, Fish and Wildlife wanted to figure out who was keeping exotic reptiles. So pet owners had to register them. Some did, others just turned them loose. Determined to find his man, or whatever, Hooper has looked in nooks and crannies. Not in there. And scouted possible hiding places. I don't know where he's at. He's here under one of these sheds. So far, it's Tegu 1, Hooper 0. But Hooper says that's going to change. Uh, and I'm going to catch this lizard one way or another. If it's here, I will get it. So there's an issue that's even bigger than the fact that it is dangerous and it's certainly annoying to have one of these creatures in your neighborhood. And that is you have to take a look at the ecosystem. This is a non-native species, which means it competes with native species. It is a very brazen critter. I understand from Fish and Wildlife that it will even go into an alligator or a crocodile's nest to eat the eggs. So pretty darn aggressive. Yeah, Linda? That's brave. I'm glad we're at least warning our viewers to stay away if they see it. All right. Thanks, Ken.